I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Keshav Murugesh. He is the group CEO at WNS and past chairman of NASCOM. It is so great to see you, Keshav. Thank you for joining me. A pleasure. A quick note to our viewers before we get started. This interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSE doesn't recommend any investments or investment strategies. Now, Keshav, COVID-19 has impacted every country in the world at the same time. How have you supported your clients simultaneously across geographies while also ensuring employee health and safety? COVID-19 for us was a supernova 2X moment. And you remember what, you know, how Tom Friedman defined supernova earlier. For us, it was really much bigger than that because the reality was we had to first and foremost manage the health and safety of all our employees. We had to make sure the lights were on for every one of our clients. And we also had to make sure that the intimacy with you know, end clients and their customers was maintained when all of this was happening. So while the pandemic hit, the reality was because we are in the services business, we had to continue providing you know, uh, delivery of services to all our clients. And I must say, it worked exceedingly well in spite of the very, very short notice. While doing all of this, uh, you know, we ensured that we moved almost 28,000 desktops across India itself, but 45,000 desktops across the world at you know, record speed. And also, uh, you know, before doing this, because we saw the trends coming in from some other countries, we ensured that we got uh, sign-offs from clients beforehand. And we made sure that it was absolutely seamless and clients as well as our employees appreciated the effort that went into it. Okay, now what's changed for the IT slash BPM industry from client expectations, engagement models to employees' wants? So first and foremost, from a client point of view, I will say that you know the two expectation changes are hyper surge and hyper lead. So if you look at it from a client's point of view, this is a moment in time where they expect us to lead in terms of just ensuring that they have all the right digital models available to them, that the communication channels are all the time open to them, that the engagement models with which we interact with them are completely different to the ones that we had uh, pre-COVID. And as opposed to the traditional business continuity planning that we had, Today, it's all about pandemic continuity planning as well, because we have to, based on this experience, also prepare for the next big crisis, and it could be you know, anything. And from a you know, hyper lead point of view, I think the focus of clients is help us to understand our business as well, or if not better than us, and lead us to the next dimension of growth and transformation. So that's what we're really focused on. I think what's going to happen is because of enhanced digital models being seen across in every one of the verticals, the need for you know, transparency is going to be you know, much greater. There's going to be need for much more you know, collaboration, new models of engagement, and uh, you know, all the time putting your customer first while you know, ensuring that you know, your uh, clients, your, your uh, employees are safe, their health is taken care of, and at the same time, the distributed workforce model is working extremely well. At this point in time, WNS is now delivering almost 95% of clients' demand from work from home models. And the other 5% is not being delivered only because they are such critical processes that we have to wait to get back to the office to deliver them. Okay, now you have clients across all industries. How is your business impacted as a result of the disruptions to your clients' industries? Look, let's face it, even today, every vertical across the world is badly impacted. And you know, demand is, has still not come back to the pre-COVID levels. However, if you look at each of the traditional verticals that our WNS operates in, we are very excited about the fact that every one of them is now to, going to be dramatically transformed through digital you know, kind of transformation models. So if you look at the traditional insurance business, for example, you're going to see less physical handoffs, much more you know, a self-service kind of portals, and you know, uh, uh, clients actually starting the process 
uh, of you know their own servicing by interacting first with a bot and then having you know humans interact with them. If you look at healthcare, you're going to see lots more adoption of telehealth and you know digital interfaces there as well. And already we are seeing you know uh, doctors now providing uh, their responses on you know digital models. So there, there's going to be a complete transformation of healthcare in the BNFS industry. I would say that there's going to be much more digital models, much more digital cash, less you know physical handoffs, and you know a, a total change in terms of how we do you know work with our traditional banks. So every business is changing, if you ask me. And because of the investments we've made in the past, I think we are absolutely the right kind of company to help lead our clients in terms of this journey. And while all of this is happening, I must say that cybersecurity is going to be one of the big, big concerns for clients. And that's where WNS scores again, because we've invested so much in that area. We believe that you know, we can give a lot of comfort to our clients that first and foremost, we are focusing on health of our employees as well as their employees, because we interact a lot with them. We make sure that we are keeping the lights on for them. And at the same time, we're giving them comfort that we have the right models to slowly bring the business back to the office. Keshav, what does the future of work look like? And will the talent of today be relevant in the post-COVID era? So, Judy, if you look at the pre-COVID model, it was all about, you know, uh, getting uh, people to the work in these large kind of facilities. The reality is that has changed dramatically overnight. You know, the, through COVID-19 and the supernova 2x moment that I spoke about, we you know brought the future ahead uh, in a matter of a few days, and we moved all this business that people thought could only be delivered from offices to people's homes. And like I said, 95% is now being delivered in that model. So I would say that work from home is going to become a very important part of the overall blended model, you know, for the industry. And I think you know, skilling and upskilling of employees and ensuring that they're constantly upgrading their uh, skills to be relevant in a new norm uh, is going to be very, very important. Having said that, I must also say that from a talent point of view, just being agile, nimble, and responsive was a pre-COVID need. But today, in addition to that, also being able to demonstrate your resilience as well as your value when you work completely from a you know, home, uh, work from home model is also going to be you know, important, I would say. Uh, and therefore, I would say that you know, if you look at the way business is being done today, do you know WNS now has a sales platform model where a client can actually interact with all of us virtually without actually having to visit any of our centers, right? They can go through the entire gamut of sales, take the decision. They can actually see a virtual office from where the work will you know, actually be performed for them. And that is helping us win lots of new deals, even during the COVID uh, crisis. Okay, and finally, you announced your Q1 results yesterday. How would you summarize the company's performance amidst the crisis? And what's the future outlook for the company? What does it look like? Look, results were very solid. If you, you know, cover the results, you would see that our revenue as well as the adjusted net income was significantly higher than analyst expectations. And you know, right away yesterday we saw uh, a, a stock jump of you know at high 10%, closing 6.3% or so, which is very positive. But more importantly, I think the confidence that we have given out in terms of you know the way we manage the pandemic for our clients, that we are a very safe pair of hands, the fact that our balance sheet is you know bulletproof, very, very strong, we have solid cash, no debt on our balance sheet, and the sales pipeline continues to be very, very strong. And the fact that, you know, as a company, we've invested so much in digital models, in technology, great people, skilling, talent, and cybersecurity gives a lot of comfort, I think, to clients. Uh, so I actually think that, you know, post-COVID, uh, we are going to see a huge acceleration in the model for the industry itself. And WNS is going to be the leader going forward post-COVID because of the investments we've made and the confidence we have created. Wonderful. Well, Keshav, it's been so great to talk with you. Thank you so much for joining me on NYC Floor Talk. Thank you, Judy. Such an honor.